everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! It's the Green Hall Day! Yay! I can't believe that it took me this long to pick a bunch of green clothes, but here we are, it's finally happening. We are ready, we are excited. YesStyle gives me a $500 budget to spend on their website every month in exchange for a video, and uh, this month I decided to use that budget on exclusively green clothes. I ended up actually going a little bit overboard. I spent $800, I ended up blowing the budget and then paying for the rest myself because there were so many green things and anything for my sweet little son. This video is going to be in two parts. So this is part one and everything today, they're all dresses. Beautiful, beautiful dresses. Some of these are summer dresses, some of them are fall dresses. Uh, and then in the next video, you're gonna see like tops and skirts and shoes and handbags and socks and uh, a little sneak peek is the outfit that I'm wearing right now. This is from part two. This lovely skater skirt and this really cute, I don't know, like Italian style top. This kind of reminds me of Brandy Melville, Verge Girl kind of style, which is, I believe, an Italian style. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, so this is a sneak peek of the next video. So if you want to know when we post that one, subscribe, that'd be nice, and hit the notification bell. But most importantly of all, I'll wait. Uh, if you are happy that we're finally doing a green haul, give us a like on this video. We would greatly appreciate that. So, without further ado, let us dive into the pile that is below us, and Archie is looking straight at it. Th look, look at all that green. Okay, how about you pick the first piece of clothing? Okay, which one do you want? Okay, Archie has chosen. We have our first dress. Our first little green dress, this is a gingham dress. So, colour-wise on the Archie Green scale, this is definitely a lighter shade of green. This fits into my aesthetic. You know, some of these darker things don't fit the whole pretty pastel please style, but this really nice light green is right up my alley. What do you think about it, Archie? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Good boy. You are a good boy. Okay, so here it is. I picked this one up in a size small and it's fitting me really well around the waist. We're definitely missing the most important accessory here though. So my main concern with this dress is it has a very unusual strange pleat that runs down the center just here. Not so sure what I think about that. What do you think, Archie? I know, I'm in a little bit of shock myself. This is very comfortable and I really like the fit of it. There are two layers. We have a little cami layer on the inside there, but this material on its own, even if it didn't have that second layer, this is a nice thick material. It wouldn't be particularly transparent. Here it is from the back. What do you think? I love the length of this. I know with some dresses from YesStyle, I find that they can be very short on me. What? But this one, this sits at a really, really nice length for my height. I love dresses like this because you can switch it up from a summery dress with like a straw hat, or you could wear a turtleneck underneath this and a beret and completely change the whole style. Putting on the white turtleneck does kind of break the rules of the all green video, but I just wanted to show you what I mean. The only problem for me, being an Australian, we have school uniforms here, and the primary school that I went to had a green checkered school uniform. And <laughs> I did notice in my Brandy Melville haul when I had a plaid or checkered green two-piece set, there were so many comments from Australians saying, wow, this looks just like my school uniform. So that is the, the one concern for me. But if you are in a country that doesn't have school uniforms, hopefully this print remains sacred and you can wear this without remembering your traumatic childhood memories. <laughs> Because we have two somewhat similar dresses, I will show you the second one now, because I also want to put this on with the turtleneck. Forgive me, I know it's somewhat similar, but this one... Oh, what? Yes, there are different things coming, I promise. This one is significantly longer than the one that I'm wearing. This also has a really nice stretchy back on it here, so this isn't going to dig into you anywhere, particularly on the back. I get these little muffin tops on my back there, so this type of dress where it's got this lovely stretchy back, that's not going to happen. Now the one that I'm wearing has very thin straps, but this one has nice chunky straps. Which one do we like better? Do we like the one I'm wearing? Oh, oh, we like this one better. So whereas the other one zipped up at the back, this one doesn't have a zip. It's got that stretchy back, so no zipping required. I just stepped straight into it. I really like these chunky straps. They're very, very comfortable. What do you think? 
The length of this is just stunning. I love that I can pick up the skirt like this and hold it out and there's a significant amount of fabric here. This doesn't have a secondary layer on the inside like that first dress, but this fabric is thick enough that we can't see through it too much. I was just about to say you can't see through it, but then I held it up and I can kind of see through it there. So this type of fabric, just be mindful with the undies that you're wearing. Yes, you don't need undies. Are these your undies? Which one next? Ah, excellent choice, Archie. So next up we have a dark green velvet dress. Now this is quite an unusual one. For a start, first thing I'm noticing when I picked it up, there are these terrible, terrible frayed seams. Yeah, don't touch that. No, very, very badly frayed seams. Construction seems quite poor on this one, unfortunately. The finish isn't so great. I do love the look of it from the pictures though, so I'm hoping that this one looks really nice on. This is more of an Archie green. I don't know if we're going to get an exact Archie match today. If we do in this video, it'll be a winner. But if there isn't a match in this video, it'll be in the next one with the shirts and so on. While I do enjoy the silhouette of this, I'm going to have to work on the bra because as you can see, it's got an extremely, extremely low back. You would probably have to wear a suction bra with this. Hey, relax. But I do not have one of those at my disposal right now because the one that I got from Wish got very, very sticky and uh, got a little lint all over it, so I had to toss it. But I do need a new one. Because of that, let me just strategically place my hair. Okay, with the strategic placing of the hair, it looks much better now because there was uh, some things sticking out that probably shouldn't have been, at least not on YouTube. This dress has these little slits in the side of it, like that. I was concerned that they would come up a little bit too high. They sit at a not necessarily modest height, but they're not, a, not at a raunchy height. I can't see my undies or anything. What do you think about this dress? He, he wants me to... okay, we can try a different one, that's fine. Which one now? Ah, excellent choice, my friend. Now, this next dress didn't actually have a picture of a model wearing it. It was just kind of laying on the floor. I know that's a concern a lot of people have with Yes Style, when things aren't actually on a model or on a mannequin. Wow, he's just gone and landed on the first dress. Is that your favourite, Archie? Now he's bobbing his head up and down. <laughs> Yeah, so this one didn't actually have a mannequin photo, so I wasn't entirely sure how this would turn out, but now that it's here, this is excellent. Uh, hello there. You heard me say excellent, did you? Yes, you, you need to assess for yourself. This has some very complicated looking straps here, uh, so I'm going to have to figure those out and then we'll put this on, and I really, really hope that it looks nice because just seeing it like this and seeing it on the floor in a flat lay, it looked very, very promising. This is always a problem. This is always a, a big problem. Uh, Holy guacamole! I think I have just found my all-time favourite dress. Look at this! I, I don't know, am I being crazy? Maybe it's a little bit simple, but the way that this fits me, this hugs me around my waist in the most perfect way, and I love that it's got these three straps that run up here. The back is a little bit of a mess. You'll have to forgive me, my assistant doesn't have thumbs, so he can't really help me to do it up properly. Look, that's nothing against you personally. This dress is so long and so flowy. There's only one layer of fabric here, but this fabric is so thick. This is a very warm dress because of how thick this fabric is. I guess the benefit of a lot of these green clothes is that it's November now and with Christmas coming up, if you want to look like a very fancy Mrs. Claus, you can just wear this and add a Christmas hat and Santa will be calling you baby in no time. Sorry, Archie, I'm, I'm sorry, that, I'm sorry. Forgive me. This may be more of a nighttime kind of dress for me, maybe going out for dinner with a little cardigan over the top, if it was cold, and a pair of stilettos. Ah. Oh, you agree, do you? I'm just so happy with the fit of this. I think that this silhouette is so nice because not only does it cinch in at the waist, but it cinches in from here right down to here. So I really sort of accentuate my hourglass figure when I wear this and I adore it. You know what, if I wasn't pretty pastel please on YouTube, this dress would tempt me to give up on the pastel and just go for emerald greens all the time. <laughs> Do you agree? Oh, would that make you happy? Would that make you a happy bird? What next? Oh, okay, that next. Okay, right, Archie has spoken. I foresee one issue with this though. This dress has a corseting detail running up the front and unfortunately, the lace is not done up. This is the bane of my existence when you have a squiggly wiggly bird that thinks that all laces are delicious noodles. It makes it very difficult to do things up.
Can you take that? Can you take that? And pull. Wow, you are a lot more helpful than I thought you were going to be. And we're done! We made it! Thank you for your help, Archie. You're, you're very smart and helpful. You did a great job. I'm not being sarcastic. I think this dress is adorable. I love the really nice little pinstripes that run down here. Kind of reminds me of those old school gangster suits. Quality wise, this one is excellent. Unlike that velvety one where things were falling apart at the seams, this one seems very well put together. This one is a little bit rough, so under my arms here where my arms are kind of touching it... What? What? Oh, bless you. I would definitely wear a dress like this with a turtleneck or a little t-shirt underneath though, so that's not particularly of concern to me. Archie is all over me wearing this. Absolutely all over me. Is this your favourite? Okay. Oh, bless you! This one zips up at the back and there's no stretch to it, so unlike uh, that dress earlier that had the nice sort of pleated elastic on the back, you do have to step into this one, you can't pull it over your head with the zipper undone. Can you let go please? Can you let- can you let go please? I'd say that this one has the most snug fit out of all of them so far. This one I got in a small and it almost feels like the tiniest little bit tight just around my rib cage. Oh! I just noticed this has cups in it. Yes, this has cups in the top. That's nice. I really appreciate that because, you know, I love when dresses have cups built into them. It means that you can uh, go braless if you so desire and you don't have to worry about any cold, awkward situations. These are all things that birds never have to worry about. Okay, so I originally thought I was onto something with this one, but now that I'm wearing it, yeah. This has a belt with it, and the belt, there are no belt holes. So the belt isn't staying where it's supposed to stay. <laughs> Ideally, the belt should be up around here. So I guess if I just take to it with a pin, I suppose that'll be better. This was another one of those dresses that uh, just had a picture of it on the floor. And based on that picture, I thought it was going to be lovely. It is nice, don't get me wrong. But compared to all these other dresses that I've been trying on today, this one probably rates the lowest in terms of just the fit and the style. It has this interesting frilly detail that kind of runs down here. That runs all the way down the dress. I'm personally not the biggest fan of this unusual asymmetrical hemline, the way that it's higher at the front than it is at the back. I don't really like that so much. I honestly think that this would be a good work dress. Uh, I actually do have a Yes Style workwear haul coming up where I bought a whole bunch of outfits, kind of pastel outfits that I would recommend wearing to work, like if you have a corporate kind of job, an office job. Maybe I'll slot this into that video. This is just a little bit basic for me. That being said, I can kind of imagine this with big white sunglasses and a wide brimmed hat, but I probably won't get a huge amount of wear out of this one. I just feel like it doesn't really show off my personality enough. And I kind of feel like everything's gonna go downhill from here because the last couple of dresses are unusual. Are you ready? Hello? Anybody home? Help! I am green and I am confused. Look how long these straps are. They are massive. I don't know what to do with them because do, do I... Do I wrap them around? I guess maybe I- do I wrap it around multiple times? Do I do it in the front and in the back? No, but then even if I wrap it once, there's still a huge amount of fabric coming down. So then do I cross it over again? And again? Three times- four times! Was that four times? I lost count. Is it something like that? Thank you, Archie, for pointing that out. This one looked, dare I say, magical on the model. She literally looked the image of perfection. But on me, look at this. There's a little tiny stitch here keeping this together and this kind of hangs open. I think that this is supposed to be closed, so I don't know if it's just the size of my chest is making that split open. I'm very, very torn about this dress. On the one hand, I think it's very sophisticated and elegant and the embroidery... <coughs> And the embroidery is beautiful. I really like the shade of green, but also on the other hand, it kind of gives me rich lady turning up at the funeral of her husband who died under very suspicious circumstances and now she's inherited the mansion. I feel like this is a little bit too mature for me. I can never seem to dress my age. I either dress too young for my age or this, I think that this is too old for my age. I think the silhouette of this dress is really pretty. It kind of has a little bit of a vintage vibe. Tell me what you guys think about this one. I'm extremely torn. At the moment, this one for me is 
Next up we have this. Now this is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. In the pictures this looked stunning, but now that it's here... It... Well, you, you, wanna, you wanna see. It feels quite cheap. The print is nowhere near as obvious as it was in the images. And I also don't think that it's quite as long, or perhaps because the model was a little bit shorter than me, maybe it made it look a bit longer. Ah! 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 ah. And this last one. This last one kind of has me feeling like I'm part of a strange religion or like I'm about to become a human sacrifice. In the pictures, this was glorious. This was so, so beautiful. The girl looked so majestic. She looked like a, she looked like a whimsical traveler. She had this beautiful big leather kind of suitcase thing under one arm. She was stunning. The dress looked like it fit her in such a nice way. This is unusual to say the least. There is a belt. However, despite the one point that I added for the belt, I deduct that said point because the belt is extremely cheap. The belt is kind of like this strange plasticky fake leather on one side and then this unusual corduroy like what this is made of. But this is that weird corduroy that like when you touch it, your hands just kind of feel dirty. Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, I was just putting on the belt. The belt clip came off. Like, it, it's not even a clip, it's, it's like a fake. It's a fraud. This just came straight off. I was putting the belt on. This popped off it. It's a, it's a facade. Okay, so that's terrible. Now the belt is literally just a piece of silver. This was supposed to be on there. But uh, nothing I can do about that right now. I'm gonna have to get some glue and various things and try and piece that back together. But as far as this dress goes, very unusual length. I am so surprised by how long this is. I didn't think that it would be this long, but I do seem to remember that in the expectation photos, the girl was in a field, and I think that there was like greenery at the base, so she she probably could have had this dress touching the floor and I wouldn't have known, but I did think that it would be a tiny little bit shorter. I think at least with the belt, it looks a, a little bit better. We do have that strip of red here, so now I have basically reached my truest Archie form. Archie is <coughs> Green on the outside, and he has red under fluffies, so we're basically the same. This one is definitely the biggest fail out of all of them. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't try on that other dress. I was so distracted by how strange this dress is that I forgot to try on the last dress. <laughs> Okay, so I take back what I said about this dress. I know when I picked it up and I was looking at it, I was a little bit concerned that it was not so great. <laughs> but now that I'm wearing it, it's actually extremely comfortable. I mean, I know that I was, I was worried about this layer, this kind of like chiffon layer. I thought that it was a little bit scratchy. But now that my skin is kind of rubbing against it, it's actually very smooth. It's so strange how it changed from like just holding it to now wearing it. I actually really, really like it. Uh, the only thing that I don't know is this. There are these two little things here. I, what am I meant to do with this? Uh, yeah, okay, well, that's one thing we can do with it. It's probably supposed to do up at the shoulder. It's very difficult with Archie here. So what I'll do, let's switch across to some footage of me wearing this the way that it's intended to be worn. I really like the length of this. I love that there's this second layer on the inside. There's no transparency here. You can wear whatever colored undies that you want, bright green, you can wear yellow or orange and no one's gonna know. My main concern with it is the way that it fits around the waist. I just wish that the fit was a little bit more tight lower down on my waist because I kind of feel like the skirt puffing out just makes me look a bit wider than what I am. But it is a really sweet summery dress, perfect for a picnic. And do you like the shade of green, Archie? That's the most important question. Alright, well in the next haul, which you guys have to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we post it, in that haul we have a huge range of different coloured green things. We have tops and skirts and shoes and handbags and accessories, hair clips, all sorts of stuff. That's going to be a much longer video than this one, but I figured I would just separate the dresses from the other things because... Well, yes, because the more green videos, the better, right? That's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you check the description box below, there are links to all of the items. I'm an affiliate for YesStyle, so if you buy any of them, Archie and I will make commission. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel, please, and Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah!